machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Lifting and pulling and flying so high Building and building up to the sky You can watch them all day and never know why they're Mighty machines Hear them roar, watch them soar Sit right down and see There are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines now that's a big machine, kids. What do you think it can be? There's another. Massive big things. These are printing presses, and we print newspapers. And that's me. Notice the C that's painted on my side? That's C for Charlie. You can see the newspaper pages spinning through my rollers. There's six of us in here, six big presses. And there's the newspaper, all printed, folded neatly, and ready to go. I'll bet you've never seen a machine as big as me. Three stories high on this floor, plus the floor below where the big rolls of paper are. And I'm nearly as long as a city block. I'm huge. Those big rolls of paper are called newsprint. It goes from down there, winds up, 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 through my rollers, and I print all the words and the pictures on it. I print everything that goes on that paper. Come on and have a closer look. These are some of my rollers. They guide the paper so that the ink gets put on just right. And these are my inking rollers. They put the words and pictures onto the paper. In a big machine like me, every part is important. If one part doesn't work, then the paper won't look right. See that? Now the big sheet of paper has been cut in half and is getting folded. The newspaper that you get at home has a big fold in it, right? Well, this is where I fold it. Not only do I print the pages, I have to organize them and fold them too. All the finished copies come out here. Those are my special conveyor belts that take the finished paper away. The papers are held on by little clamps, holds them nice and tight. Uh-oh, what's happening? I'm slowing down. Oh dear, stop the press! Uh-oh, the paper's torn. That happens from time to time. This will slow us down. I've got to stop until everything's fixed. They have to thread the paper through the rollers. It's very complicated, and it has to be just right or the paper will tear again. Newsprint isn't very strong. But when my rollers keep it snug, I can speed up and slow down without ripping it. I have to depend on my crew to get this set up again. They know where the paper goes. I couldn't do this on my own. Careful, fellas. We don't want the paper to tear again. Well, it's not too bad. They'll have me up and running again in no time. I sure hope so. We have a lot of papers to print. Have a look at the mailing room, kids, while we sort out this little problem. Hello. Come and have a look at what we're doing in here. This is the mailing room. It's a busy place full of busy machines. We even have robots. The mailing room is where the newspapers get bundled up and sent out to the customers. But before they go, they have to be stuffed with supplements. That's where I come in. I'm Stuffer. 
Those are advertising supplements that have to be stuffed into the newspapers. And I'm the machine to do it. It could be the TV guide, shopping coupons, or special advertisements. I take the newspapers from Charlie, open up each one like a book, and stuff the supplements in. Every newspaper has to have all the supplements, and I don't miss one. Let's see what we've got here. Ah, brochures for the symphony. Very nice. In you go. I'm much faster at this job than a person, so we can fill them all in plenty of time for the big weekend edition. That's why they call me Stuffer. And when they are filled, I send them off to be bundled and shrink-wrapped by my pal Bundler. Just follow the conveyor belt. Come to watch me bundle up the newspapers, kids? I count them into bundles of a certain number, tie them up, and out they go. There's another, and another. Neat and tidy. It's a lot easier to deliver them to stores and newspaper boxes this way. They zip along my rollers, one after the other. Then, when we get enough bundles to finish the layer, stretch! See that? I've got suction cups on my arm. The suction cups pick up the stiff cardboard and lay it on top of the bundles. And then we can load another layer. Isn't that cool? I just keep building up the pile. Look at all those papers. Thousands of them. The load on the skid is just how many the customer ordered. So that's enough. Away you go. Now, we don't want the papers to get wet or torn or fall over. So I'm going to wrap the whole big bundle of newspapers in plastic. That'll keep them safe. Watch this. Whee! Round and round she goes. Nothing can damage those papers by the time I'm finished. There. Now that's what I call a stack of newspapers. Nice and tidy, too. One of the LGVs will be here in a minute to get this bunch. Keep your eyes open for it. Oh, here it comes. Right on time, as usual. It's number 27. 27 is one of our laser-guided vehicles, kids. It's like a robot. It receives instructions by radio signal. And that's how it knows when to come and take the skid of papers away. I am 27. I have come to get the skid of papers. I can glide my forks right underneath the skid with little lasers. These papers are heavy, but robots are strong. I haven't seen you much today, 27. What have you been doing? I have been taking skids to the trucks. That is my job. Lifting heavy skids loaded with newspapers. You would not believe how many papers I have carried. Where are you taking that one, 27? Master Control says I am to take it to door number 18. Okay, then. See you later. Hmm. Door 18. Door 18. Here we are. This is as far as I can move the skid. My lasers will not operate inside the truck. I must leave it here. Soon this area will be very full and the trucks will all be loaded up. I better take a break before the presses start printing tomorrow's paper. That will be soon. Okay, kids. We fixed all the problems and the paper's humming now. You should really have a look at how much paper we use to print our weekend edition. 
You'll be amazed! A truckload of newsprint just came in. I'll give you a tour. Huge, eh? Those are the rolls of paper we use to run through the presses. They're all wrapped up in brown paper to protect them from damage. But that comes off before they get to the press. Each one weighs 1,000 kilograms. That is heavy. Now they get turned on their side. Then the paper wrapping is cut off. Of course, we do a lot of recycling in here. All the scrap paper gets recycled. And here come the LGVs, the robots. Wait till you see this bunch, kids. Boy, they are so organized. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, instructions, oh, we got instructions. instructions. Hooray. Eight is getting the next one. Fourteen will get the next one, eight. No need to hurry. We are organized. All robots here have special arms for picking up the rolls of paper. Our lasers guide us to just the right spot. This roll weighs a ton. Our job is to bring all the rolls to this big floor close to the presses. We must make sure there are enough rolls for the Saturday paper. All these rolls, hundreds, just for one weekend paper. It seems like such a lot. But the presses print more than 600,000 newspapers. Not only are we used to move the rolls to the storage area, we also deliver them right to the presses. See those red laser sensors? They show me where the roll of paper is so that I can pick it up. We have other sensors too, that help us navigate in this big room and not bump into things. This is a busy corner today. Whoops, traffic jam, hurry up number 10. If anything gets too close to our laser sensors, we automatically have to stop. We do not want any accidents. Excuse me, coming through. After you please, number nine. Thank you. Swell guy, that number nine. The control room computer sends instructions out to the entire robot squad. Whichever robot is available can do the job. See my big batteries inside me, kids? They power my lifting motors and my computer system, too. They are mighty powerful. I could not get around without them. Aha! Here is where I am supposed to leave this roll. I will just drive in close here and drop it off. Oh, I think my batteries are low. Come over here and plug in at the recharging station, 17. If your batteries get too low, you can't work properly and we all need to be ready for tonight's big press run. Okay. Don't worry, 17. I'll get the next load. Thanks, number three. Here is an idea, kids. If you want to know how they make a newspaper, go back upstairs to the plate-making room. We will tell them you are coming. Hi, kids. Come on in. We're going to show you how the words and the pictures get onto the paper, because that's our job. If it wasn't for us, there wouldn't be anything to print. See those? They're called plates. No, they're not dinner plates. They're sheets of aluminum. Do you see how it looks like the page out of a newspaper? Exactly. When that plate is put on the press, it will print a page of the newspaper. We're going to show you how we make the plates. There are four of us plate-making machines in this room because there are a lot of plates for every edition. Tell them about the colors. Okay, okay. If there's color on the page, we have to make four plates. 
one for each color. Cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. On Saturday, I did the comics. That was fun. Lots of colors. So kids, go around to the back of me there, so you can have a peek inside. Good, good. When the new plates come in, they have a special coating on them and paper to protect them. First, I peel off the paper, and then I get ready to put the image onto the plate. Know what I'm doing? It's like I'm projecting a photograph off the page of the newspaper onto those plates. Now they're coming out. But it still looks like there's nothing on them. You wait. Next, the plates go into my developer section, where the chemicals go to work. Here come the plates. And look! They've got an image on them. What is it? Advertising. Sometimes, we get to make images of elephants and lions and people. Ever had your picture in the newspaper? Tell them what happens next. Okay, okay, I'm telling them. Now, along they go into the bender. Those plates are thin aluminum, so it's easy for us to fold over the edges. That's important, because that's how it hooks onto the press drums. That one just got its bend. And then we kick it out onto the pile. I love that wobbly wobbly sound they make. Of course, we all like to do the front page, the one with the biggest and most important story. That's always the last plate we make, right? Except for the sports scores, save the best for last. Hey, which page are you doing now? I don't know yet. Let me see. Oh, the puzzle page. My favorite. Hey, guys, I did the crossword today. The next step is to load up all the plates onto the drums on the presses. Uh, better get over there, kids. This is when the action gets exciting. You're just in time, kids. I'm getting ready to do tonight's big press run. See that red thing? They call that a kite. Looks like a kite, doesn't it? But you can't fly that kite. It's special. They attach the kite with tape to the end of the paper, and then it threads the paper through all my rollers. The route's complicated, and it has to be right. Remember, I'm three stories high, so the paper goes away up, and then back down again. Round and round, up it goes and then down, all through my dozens of different rollers. It's all part of the setup before I can run. My crew checks to see that it all goes through correctly. Great job, fellas. Good. The paper's all threaded now. And they're already starting to put on the plates. You saw them making the plates, right? Now you're going to see how I use the plates to print the newspaper. Now these plates go here. Each plate has a code written on it that tells where the plate has to go. That way, the pages go in the right order and the colors are correct too. And these go over here. Oh, and these ones go here too. Did they show you how they had to bend the plate on the top and bottom? Good, that's important. The plates have to be put on my drums. See how they snap into place? That's why the bend in the plate is so important. It guides the plate into exactly the right position on the drum so all the colors will register properly. Here's how it works. Remember in the plate room how they made four sets of plates? Well, four sets of ink rollers, one for each color, put the ink onto the separate plates, and then each plate transfers its image onto a rubber blanket roller. 
that's the part that actually touches the paper and prints the picture. Isn't that clever? There. Snap that plate in place. Good work. Great! The red lights are flashing, kids. That means that all the setup is done and the press is ready to start. I'm getting ready to roll. Tell me when you see the printing appear, kids. Ta-da! This is going to be a good run. I can feel it in my rollers. We've got three hours to print 650,000 newspapers. When I first start printing, my crew has to keep an eye on things and make sure that everything looks good. We have to waste a few at first, but they all get recycled, so it's okay. In the control room, they are checking my first copies. If the color is not quite right, they adjust my ink levels. There's a real art to getting it looking just so. All they have to do is press those buttons. There, that should do it. Now I can really crank up the speed. Woo-wee! Look at that paper fly! We might set a record. That would make Charlie pretty happy. Uh-oh, I've got a roll that will run out soon. One of the robots will be getting a signal to bring a new roll any minute now. Yep, here comes Eleven with my roll. Eleven here. Roll of paper to deliver to Charlie. Thanks, Eleven. Put it down nice and easy. It's a good thing they have lots of rolls of paper in the warehouse. I'm going to keep the robot squad busy tonight. I'm glad you guys are here to help. Watch this, kids. They are going to put the roll of paper in place. It has to be done by machines. That paper is far too heavy for anyone to lift. The blue tape on the paper is the beginning of the roll. Those tabs have to be in just the right place, and they'll stick onto the end of the old roll just before it runs out. Now check this out. This is neat. Watch how I change rolls. First, I move the expiring roll out of the way and move the new one into position. Then my cutter arm comes down. The new roll has to spin at the same speed as the old one, otherwise the paper will rip. It's almost ready. Wait for it. Wait. Bingo! <laughs> Did you see that? The paper was changed from one roll to the other, and I didn't even slow down for a second. I'm about halfway through printing this edition. We only have another hour before it all has to be finished. I'm sending all the papers over to the mailing area to be put on the trucks for delivery. I'll bet they're as busy as bees on that side. So long. It's full throttle down here, kids. Come on, you papers, spin and dance. We're running out of time. That stack is really big. Thousands of papers in that one. I have to give it a good wrap. Round and round we go. Ready for the robots. This is my one million trip tonight. Just kidding, it's not quite a million.
careful putting that skid into the back of the truck. Pack them in. I have another million to bring you. Ha 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 ha. As soon as you are loaded up, off you go to deliver the papers. Well, kids, the next time you look at a newspaper, think of all of us mighty machines in the printing plant. Bye for now. Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Lifting and pulling and flying so high Building and building up to the sky You can watch them all day and never know why they're Mighty machines Hear them roar, watch them soar Sit right down and see there are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines